All I have to say is, motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> or, Motherfucker. Uh, Jane, I think maybe uh, you're having listen, a. Uh, no, an, an, an episode. Acid listen, flashback. I if, if, uh, a what? <laughs> you're acid. having an acid flashback. You know, right I now. could be. Listen, I'll tell you. Maybe you should get ahead on that bald head of yours. Well, i tell you the truth. If these were black people here, they would have been strung up on a tree. Anybody else besides. If there were black people protesting, you know. In this case, well, this you are is not a going to see the town. This is a pastry-ridden town. And you, you thought I was talking about Paul Danish. What about... This is fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take my clothes off. So what did I mean by this is a pastry-ridden town? Let's just strip. Let's everybody strip. That would Please don't do it. that, that Jim. Don't. Don't. Right? don't. I'll pay you. Oh, How much do you want? No, I'm not doing it. That's it. We'd all go to jail. <laughs> The barbarians are not at the gate. <laughs> They're right here on the sidewalk. In the fucking yeah. parking lot. <laughs> what does the dog think about this? Get down there. Yeah, I'd say. What do you think? Thinks a joke, huh? Yeah. No, what I I just think it's a shame that. The, that nothing's gonna happen over a loss of a little girl. You know, it's a joke. And if I would have did it, or anybody else would have did it, they would have took us to the police station right away, questioned you, railroaded you. But since you have money in Boulder, then they let him sit in the living room and search for the body. Yeah, it was a big. It was messed up from the start. But do you think that it maybe because the Ramseys had connections with the police department and with the higher I think Alexander got paid off, and the grand jury got paid off. Is what I think happened. Or do you think that just basically, uh... I think that's what happened. Or maybe they're just in the same elite, elite group. No, or... they're not, because my mom works with a couple of the jurors, and they're not real sophisticated like they said they were on TV. They're factory workers. But I, I doubt that they, uh, they got paid off. Maybe perhaps the DA led them down the road. That's... Well, what I think is probably going to happen is there's going to be a fund that's going to come about and they might not get the money directly from Alex Hunter but I have a feeling somebody's got paid off in this because something like this just doesn't happen you know well the DA controls the case so they're presenting it to the grand jury so if if they want the grand jury not to indict then they won't indict that's right so but they don't have to be paid off they don't have to be paid off but I think something fishy happened all of a sudden they were going to indict and then they bring in one defense witness and all of a sudden they flip-flopped their whole case. Something's wrong there. So you say there was a one defense? There was a, wit a defense witness and they started bringing in to talk to people. And I forgot the gentleman's name, but once he started saying his spiel, then all of a sudden there was going to be no indictment. He was on behalf of the Ramseys, the guy who spoke. But anyway, I think it's just a big, a big old mess. You know, they screwed up in the investigation in the first place, and then they're trying to cover it up now with any lame excuse they can, not enough evidence. How much evidence do you need? Nobody broke into the house, nobody broke out of the house, but yet there's a dead body and three people in the house. Somebody had to do it. You know, I just think it's a shame. It's a travesty of justice. How could they not come up with an indictment? How could they not? Yeah. Because of the influence of the Ramseys have in this town. Money talks, you know, you know what I mean. And what about uh, the flubbing of the, I mean, the first day? I mean, let's start from the beginning. They screwed up their own case, but right. do you think that... Right, because, well, first they handled like a kidnapping because they didn't expect to be a murder there. But even so, that... Uh... But even so, they should have had a little more tact about the whole situation. So what, yeah, how could, you, how could you have a search be made by... A suspect. Even if, even if you don't, That's it. even if you don't know what the case is yet. Well, the, the police should have searched for anybody. Going to see you the whole they should have had John and Patsy Ramsey in separate rooms. Then they should have searched the whole house. Then. Do you think it was just ineptitude, or do you think there was something more to that? I mean, how could you be that inept as a as a learned this is Boulder. investigator? This is Boulder. You know. Don't get caught with a cigarette in your hand in this town, but you can you can kill somebody Here's the whole and walk thing. away. Here's the, let me explain you the whole case. I'm, I'm a retired doctor. 
the fact that she had no subdural hematoma. She was dead. At, was that, got hit. She was dead when she got hit. That's the whole key. It was a staged killing. Yeah. In other words, they strangled. They, they staged it for a kidnapping. They say yeah. it was a sex After act. After the fact. It was a sex After act. After the fact, all this kidnapping exactly. stuff no, came up. It was a sex yeah. act. They killed her so during come, the sex act. How come that? Uh, and then they hit her, and that's why she didn't bleed. If I hit you now, you're going to have a subdural hematoma. Yeah, she was already dead. She, she was, was already dead. dead. So how come uh, the Scientologists, but, uh, <laughs> the so, scientific evidence does not? Uh, it's so ridiculous. That's right. That's no, it, it, there was stuff. Well, they, they found can't in prove. Her underwear. They can't prove that she, that uh, that the Ramses hit her over the head. Well, but it's obviously she was dead. It was a stage act. As well as the note. Huh? As well as uh, the, the note. The, whole thing the was. note was staged, and so was the sex act. So, how can they not, even on circumstantial evidence, have enough I, evidence I'm not a to indict? I'm a doctor. They, so. Wait, I mean, you yourself. Of I don't know. Have scientific I, 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 evidence. That's why I wanted to talk to one of the attorneys okay. here. Any attorneys out here? I don't think There's so. A, uh, they're a bunch of idiots. Well, you mean the district? Are any attorneys out here? I don't think There's so. A, uh, they're a bunch of idiots. Well, you mean the district attorneys? The district yeah. attorney. He's an idiot. Yeah. He's in with Foreman and Haddon. They've been worldwide friends. They play, hang around the Boulder Country Club. And they all live up here. Up on the hill. Up yeah, on the they've hill. They've all got their little clique here in town. They and play golf together. Yeah. You know, they're all they're all so interconnected that they're afraid to do anything. I think that's the whole problem that's right there is they're afraid of the repercussions. And the Ramses. And the Ramses are... Or, good friends of them. Or friends of them. So them even off. if you're a pedophile or a murderer, you can get away with it yeah. in Boulder. You can be forgiven by the state. This just set a precedence. That's all it did. Sure. I mean, it's so obvious. That's all it did. It's obvious. I mean, it's obvious. Why would you kill somebody after they're dead? Well, that's obvious. But uh, I guess they don't but believe they, would, ha no, they I, have the if actual I, if evidence. If I kill him now, why would I, why would I hit him over the head? I, I'm complete agreement, but they're saying that that's yeah. all circumstantial. They don't no, have no, they have the evidence. There's no subdural. If I take a yeah. golf club, they uh, found a teaspoon and a half of blood in her right. brain, and, that See, was and her head was smashed in. Yeah. So she wasn't bleeding. She wasn't alive. There was no heart going on. No. It's so obvious. What? What? They're a bunch of idiots. Is this guy an attorney? Are they idiots? What's on that pizza? What is not on that pizza? There's going to be a lens on this pizza pretty <laughs> soon. <laughs> I would have had some of that cheese pizza if I had to be stuck down so fast. Pepperoni? Is this sharing pizza among media conglomerates or, or are you guys all in one conglomerate? We're sharing. All right, that's good. Oh, who are you filming for? Just my own television show. I had it installed last night. Yeah. That? It's called Notes from the Quiet Room. I'm sorry? Notes from the Quiet Room. What channel is that? It's on uh, channel 54. Is that local or? Local cable. It's uh -huh. uh, public access. Thursday oh. at 11 o'clock. We only do national here. Yeah, there's there's no money to me be made where I'm coming from. <laughs> so if you want security, stick with CBS. <laughs> okay. The food section, that's all I get? <laughs> What's your hat say? I can't really see it. ABC News Denver. Do you believe in Sam Donaldson? I'm not sure I heard you. What do you think of Sam Donaldson? <laughs> I think he's got weird eyebrows. They're scary. <laughs> not holding your camera straight. That's all right. It's We're a, not professionals here. It's that MTV look. <laughs> it's not, it's we, not a skewed enough for MTV. We tried it for a while, real life, real news. It got us in real trouble. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I was like standing right over there. Hey. Try, try, Hi. Who are you with? I'm part of the media free zone. <laughs> All righty. There? 25 feet. 
from that side. Oh, I don't know. Oh, from, the from the sidewalk. From the sidewalk. I was right there. So God, I hope nobody got a shot of that. <laughs> or nobody said anything. I actually, if you turn it off, I'll tell you the truth. But. I'll be home soon. All right. I'll be home soon, Mom. Keep the lights on and the soup warm. What city are you from? Los Angeles. Los Angeles, California. You know, we've had a lot of invasions from California. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll just invade your city for a little while longer. We'll, we'll all be gone. This will all be a, 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 just a bad dream to you guys. No, Don't worry. It's, it's, it's certainly a bad dream. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, look at it this way. I know. At least OJ didn't move here. <laughs> no, hold on just a second, Lori. Hold on just a second. Hey, Lori. What's up? Yeah. Okay, well, no, I was just going to think of whether there's new stuff to uh, to bring up. Um, can you cut it out for a sec? Um, um, yeah, no, that's that's all right. Um, the um, I would I would talk to him about. Um, uh, and uh, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, the timing of when the grand jury is going to finish. Okay. Okay, thanks. Bye. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. I already had a little discussion with him Excuse about me. harassment. What's that? I'm not harassing anybody. Yes, you I'm are. Just Come on over here. being a total, you're a total harassment. Come on over here. Come on over. We talked once sure. already. Okay. But I haven't said a word. I'm just well, following no, no, people, no. filming yeah, people. You know, listen, you, listen you, to me. You, you get sure. You were running by here this morning. Uh -huh. You were hurt. Look, don't walk out in the street. Oh, no, you're pushing me back. No, I'm not pushing you back. I just want to talk. Well, you're coming towards me. Come on over here. Sure. What is your name? Seth. Seth what? Brigham. Brigham, where do you live, Seth? Just across the street. Okay. I don't want you to come back over here anymore with the camera running by. Why not? I'm media listen just me. like everyone else. Just listen else. to me. No, I, 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 unless you get a restraining order or something, yeah. no, I'm I don't just gonna, understand. I will arrest you for harassment. I'm, I'm not harassing you. anyone. This is the well, media. I'm they're, telling they're you. They're right here. I'm here. I'm just doing the, the video. Seth, I'm telling you. I, all right, okay. but I, I don't think I think it's groundless. That's well, all. it's not groundless. It's free speech. And neither one of us want to have to go through this whole process. No, we don't. Okay? We don't want to do that. So why don't you just? You've been over here. You saw him. You were here this I'm morning. I'm a resident of this town. These people are. They don't even you live here. You were over here. here this morning. I'm a 16-year resident. Yeah, I'm just filming the filmers. There's nothing illegal you about that. You were up that. here yesterday. No, this just, morning just, I was here. And you were here yesterday also. And I'll be here tomorrow. I'm telling you. You're going to be arrested for harassment. I'm not harassing anyone. This yeah, is a public are. sidewalk. You are. It's a public it's sidewalk. You're going to be arrested for harassment on a public sidewalk. Now, too. now go on home. You're cursing is it because I don't have, I don't have a time slot on CBS? Go on home. Just leave things alone, please. Yeah. All right. I I don't understand. You have to get someone that I, I, I'm not just going to leave. You have to. There has to be grounds yeah, you're for go, this. You're going to leave, or you're going to be arrested. I'm telling you that. I'm just a little confused because I'm just filming the filmers. And so I'm going to be arrested for filming the media? I, I mean, do you have a supervisor I can speak I'm to? I'm a supervisor. Go on home. There must be somebody else that I can go speak on to. Home. I'm asking you to go on home and leave them alone, please. I, well, watch out for the cars. Yeah, watch out. yeah, well, I'm being pushed back into the sidewalk. OK, I'll tell you what. Let's go across the street. That way you won't be. I'm, I'm walking this way. That's my house over here. Over to the sidewalk. Come on. 
All right, hey, I'm not doing anything. Just come on over, sir. All right, I'll be, I'm just, you know, I'm being a little Neil, bit intimidated. One lady come up to me. And I'm two following ladies people around. That's, yeah, but you that's put, my you right. Know, you, you're putting a camera yeah. in people's face like you It's not your right like to you follow people that. around. Well, they're following this they're, around. They're not following you around. That's right. I didn't see anybody following you. No. Just go on home. But these cameras are following everyone. No, they're not following you. Seth, just go on home so, you know, neither one of us have a problem with this, okay? But I do a TV show just like they do a TV show. Okay, where's your press credentials? I could give you a card for my Boulder Community Access Television. And are you filming this for... for Public for Access. Is, that, is that what you're doing? Yeah. Okay, so we call them, they'll confirm that you're doing it for their show. Uh, it's station, my own. Right? I'm a producer for my own television program. That's one of the directors. Okay. But I, I don't. I mean, I'm not going to use all of this material. Okay. S-E-T-H-B-R-I-G-H-A-M. And I produce my own TV show, non-profit. B-R-I-G-H-A-N. A-N. H-A-N. H-A-N. Okay. Uh, like Brigham Young. And and what's your date of birth, Seth? 112665. And where do you live? Just across the street. Address? Uh, is this necessary? I mean, what are you using this for? I just want to make sure that I've got the right, the right party. Okay, 700 Walnut. Number 415. Okay, thanks. Do you want my telephone number? No, that's good enough. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you once again. Not to come by here harassing the press. You were here yesterday. I saw you yesterday. You were yeah. standing on these steps here. You were here this morning. You were running I had back and smoke, and I walked my beagle. You were, right. you were here this morning. You were running back and forth harassing the media. I wasn't harassing anyone. I was making no, I'm a, telling a public you, free speech. You're not listening to me. I'm telling you okay. that I want you to go home and stop harassing the media. Well, because if I, we get I'm one, the media listen as well. to me. Listen to me. Okay. If I get one more complaint on you. You're going to be arrested for harassment. Well, you're just saying that I'm banned from from uh, filming this. No, I'm saying you can walk to and from here, do your thing. But I can't I, walk on that side. But I want you to leave them alone. I'm just a little confused as to the legality of this. Well, then you'll have That's to get all. a lawyer to explain it to you when we arrest you for harassment. Okay, well. Now, uh, I'm telling you, go on home. Well. And leave the people alone. That's. This is insane, I Okay, think. that's I, fine. I, sue I, me. No, I'm not going to sue you, but I'm just saying it's crazy that I can't film the media. Go on home. All right, I'll, I'll be on this side of the street. Filming. I want you go to, to go I, home. I'm going to go home now, Okay. Right? But I'm going to be back tomorrow. And if we get a complaint about you, you'll be arrested for harassment. But I can't under... How can they consider that harassment? Look at this. Trust this me. is harassment. Why Trust can't me. I charge all these people with harassment? They're not harassing you. They're not doing anything to you. They're and not I'm not doing anything to them. I'm just uh, showing them. Seth, go on. Seth, I watched you. I watched uh -huh. you put that camera in people's face. I watched people be annoyed. I had two different ladies come up Being annoyed and harassing well, is no, two no, different no, no, things. No, 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 no. If you put that camera in my face the way uh -huh. you put the camera in those people's face, you might have gotten a different reaction, a loud reaction from me. As a citizen, I'm not talking uh -huh. about as an officer. All right, well, so. I'll tell you what. I, I will not get so close to the folks anymore. Thank you. All right? Thank and, you. And if I come here and film, I will not get in people's faces. That's fine. See, Thank that's you. That's all the lieutenant was asking. Okay, well, see. We had a discussion about that before. All right. And, you know, well, I, I stopped to uh, people because they, nobody, I watched you. Nobody yeah. came up to you and tried to disrupt you and what no. you were doing. Nobody did. And I, nobody I'm did. just trying to catch yeah. people as they're mediating, you know. Okay. Yeah, but sometimes there's private conversations that people don't want you to be a party of. And if you get the camera right uh -huh. in your face like that. And see, my point is, as a as somebody doing a show is that they don't want it, their private lives to be on film, but they're willing to put the grand jury on the front of the newspaper, you know, so-and-so, so-and-so. Yeah, but so you know so we have a 25-foot rule they can't get near the grand jury. What's that? There's a 25-foot rule, you know, that they can't yeah. get near the grand jury, so. But uh, there's not a 25-foot rule between each camera here. Just because I'm doing a, say, a documentary on the press or the media. I don't think anybody minds you doing a documentary if you can maintain the distance. And maybe you didn't use. I heard you use defensive language. Maybe defensive you were yelling language? when when they were focusing in on the grand jurors. I don't know that you I, were maybe. I being haven't even been here when the grand jury right. was here. Well, I don't, know. Maybe, I don't know. Or when they were filming. It something, might have been but, another person. Okay. Well. You know, I understand where you're coming from. The lieutenant was he's, he's very patient with you. I'm patient with you. If we were if we were out to give you a hard time. 
you would have been in handcuffs or you would have been escorted away. We're not okay. out to give you a hard time. We're I know you're trying to you... mediate this situation. Exactly, exactly, exactly. All right. And we want to maintain peace here, you know? And he, he, the lieutenant a couple of times told you, you know, he didn't want to give you a hard time. He's not giving you a hard time. Okay, I just don't want to lose my right to film the media. Right. So and that's why... I don't why... think you're going to lose you, right? I mean, if, if you maintain your distance, you know, you agree with the lieutenant to maintain your distance and, and you know, I, not... You know, you didn't mention it at the time, but not be disruptive or maybe yell out curse words or what. I don't know I what you're talking about. I didn't yell out I don't know what words, but I, Okay. Well, you know, some that's, people... Are, that's not true. Maybe some people got you mixed up with somebody else, but maybe not. Maybe you said something that... No, uh, I think basically, uh, like you said, I'm following the media around. Uh, and they don't want their background talk to be fulfilled. You know what I'm saying? And so they well, they feel like way. their we privacy is being infringed. We wouldn't want them to come up here now and film what we're discussing with you because really it's none of your business, you know, in my opinion. So well, we wouldn't want that, you know, your discussions with us are between the lieutenant, myself, and you, and not, it's not your business. But, yeah, I'm sure I don't know if that's watching. why you pushed me over here. Well, but, uh, just, it was becoming a problem over there and the lieutenant was afraid you were going to get hit by a car. I mean, you were back and one of the, one of the reporters over there actually said to you to watch Alex. All right, well, I'm no threat. I'm not okay. going to do okay. anything except film, and I'm not going to get in people's faces. Fil film them if you want from a distance away. Okay. Okay. Do, do not get in their face. I won't. Uh, and, uh, and I'm telling you, if we get another complaint, then, then I'm going to charge you. And we can all work it out in court where the judge, that's where we're supposed to uh -huh. work it out, not out here. Well, it's all on film. I haven't stopped running the film. So I, we know that. Fine. But I'm asking you now to stop and okay. go on home. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to go home because it's, it's almost time to have dinner and wait and watch the Boston Red Sox. Okay. okay. I'm, not, that? I'm not going to do that. Brigham. How's that spelled? B-R-I-G-H-A-M. H-A-M. And uh, you live in Boulder? Yeah. And why are you 16 here? 16 years. Uh, I do a TV program, and I'm just trying to uh, get as much yeah. information yeah. on the press. Okay. okay. A local I, I, access In a way, I'm program. asking, uh, how does it feel? Okay. Is it a local access TV yeah. program? What channel? 54. Okay, thanks a lot. All right. Thanks, Seth. Thanks, Seth.